The Dynasty Warriors Origins demo came out recently, I thought I'd give it a try, having not played one since Dynasty Warriors 8. Initially the trailers didn't really impress me, but I wasn't quite sure whether or not I would enjoy it. But here we are. The opening cutscene showcases the campaign against Dong Zhao and the coalition coming together with many faces like Xiao Xiao and Guan Yu, with the addition of your character being on the sidelines. The introduction has Xiao Xiao approach you and state that you are bannerless and have the choice to lead those in the coalition who are also the same. Those are the ones I wish to speak to you about. They have given me free reign over how to organize them. Their numbers are few, but they are men of honor. And that is why I thought you might command them. Before starting the mission, you are shown the classic mission briefing that you've seen from previous Dynasty Warriors. But this time it has an enhanced look and audio dialogue input from all characters. This showcases the AI's plans and problems that may, may come up ahead. Over here! No. I've not really seen this before, so this is this is nice. I, I like what they did. I decided to look through the character customization and had to pick Glaive as my chosen weapon, knowing me. But there is a lot of different customizations that you could pick from if you wanted something else. Weapons have their own skills as well to pick from. But I was pretty happy with what was pre-picked, so I just left it how it was. Also, in Origins, horses have their own stats and specialties, so you want to be looking through them to find which one's most suitable for what you're going for. It seems the battles allow for you to pick a companion to join you in battle, which kind of reminds me of Warriors of Orochi 3 when you had two other people with you. In this case, I picked Guan Yu. Initially, the mission started off with me running alongside the unit, which felt really powerful in a way, because it kind of felt different to previous generation Dynasty Warriors games. This was kind of sort of noticeable in the final stages of the mission, when you run as a group into a large army. The game looks rather beautiful, the arena set pieces look great and the character models look new and fresh. But if there's one thing I've kind of noticed very clearly is that there's sort of a lack of identifiable coloration within units. Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell who's around you and what's going on. Something that I kind of slipped up while trying to learn the game as well was there seems to be two sets of controls for PC. So you have left click, right click, middle mouse button, but you also have keyboard controls as well, resulting in me getting mixed up while fighting and kind of doing really poorly my first couple of playthroughs. Assault combos and muso combos look really good in this game. The enemy officer. And I really appreciate the uh, the improvements they've made. The animations look very clean, especially when you do a, a like a combo, Muso. Alongside challenge duels have been made in appearance with the sound effect that takes me back to Dynasty Warriors 3. I'm not quite sure if the modern age Dynasty Warriors have used this sound effect, but I always remember it from Dynasty Warriors 3 myself. Blade of justice. Those unprepared to face me. The duels themselves are quite challenging, but once you've gotten quite used to the systems, it, it'll probably become a bit easier. It's also a good, like, fun breakdown part of the game, because the, the mission pauses when you accept challenges, and it's a one-on-one -on -one kind of thing, which I really enjoyed. Right, so Dynasty Warrior Origins has a pretty good choice of display options that I haven't seen in previous ports for Dynasty Warriors, so it looks like they're kind of ramping up with the PC releases. They also allow you to have a choice of audio options as well, having English, Chinese, and Japanese, depending on which you prefer. I initially used English for the video, but honestly, I think I'd probably use Japanese voice acting afterwards. I, I had a lesson to some of the in-game voice acting, and I was like, man, it hasn't really improved at all. One man. I don't care how strong he is. But some people like it, some people don't. As for the difficulties in the game, there is Historian difficulty, which is basically easy mode. All attacks can be blocked, including those that would need to be countered, so 
is like a like a specialty attack that enemies can do that requires a, a specific counter but you can kind of kind of ignore it with uh, this off story and difficulty strong attacks snagger the enemy is an easier muso and bravery gauge gain less stagger overall from enemies which uh if stagger annoys players then they can use this mode essentially i think it's more of a, like a very old style dynasty warriors difficulty it's kind of more like just you want to you want to hack and slash you don't want to think about much you just want to kill whatever's in front of you as for the hero difficulty hero difficulty is basically hard mode it's basically enemies are more aggressive and is more difficult to take on blocking attacks cost you bravery points which is a resource you use to use specialty attacks so if you're blocking a lot generally they'll be able to use special attacks after blocking consistently uh enemies also in this mode don't drop meat buns which is the game's healing items overall i think that dynasty warriors origins has the potential to change the formula of the series it seems to lean into a more technical melee game if i had to put it to anything now i know people will hate me a lot for kind of saying it's akin to a dark souls like game because a lot of people hate that phrase but it's the only thing i can really compare it to that, that is somewhat similar to it because it's no longer the hack and slash they used to be it's more of a read the opponent and kind of counter an attack sort of thing nowadays in in origins that's why i'm sort of feeling 50 50 with with the demo i'm not sure if it's just the demo that's making me feel like this or if, if the full game will make will be the same it feels like less hack and slash and more tech based fighting which is kind of a plus and negative for me. But I, I, I think it'll be alright. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it a lot. I'll be making more of these videos as time goes on. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Free now! I shall take on the rest! This is the power of the strongest warrior, unrivaled under heaven. He's only one man. I don't care how strong he is. Surround him and send him to hell. Impossible. What is this? Done already, you snakes? again these men struggled and sacrificed so that we might live better